guys. I am super excited to open this. Normally, I would uh, wait a little bit to open up multiple things in one sitting so I have more time to edit them and stuff like that. But this came in the mail today, so I'm going to open it. Also, overall, I'm pretty late on opening this. What I'm really trying to do is uh, get the newest Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh products around the time of release so that I have a higher chance of people seeing my videos. But it is what it is. It comes with five small boxes. You know, to me, it's pretty crazy. All I'm trying to do is give away cards. And it's, gonna, it's taking me a while to like get any amount of followers. Or we're here. Look at this. Maxim Gold. It comes with four packs each. I'm going to open up, uh, take out all the, all the packs before I start opening up each pack. But yeah, so it makes no sense to me that I'm like, taking me forever to just get 100 followers. I don't even have 10 subscribers yet. Like, I know before making this video, I barely, like, have anyone to, like, tell personally, like, hey, man, you mind supporting me? Like, I don't really have anyone like that. But I'm really trying to break, break into the Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon community because both are super supportive and great. These things look super pretty. But yeah. So I know for the Charmer structure deck that's coming out, I'm going to be giving away four of them. But to me, it's like, damn, like I want to give away four of these, but like I have no one to give them away to. So I'm probably going to pass by a couple of locals, um, give away a few packs, of uh, maybe Phantom Rage. Um, not make it like necessarily be like, hey, take this pack only if you subscribe. That's not what I want. I want people to subscribe because they're interested. But I'm probably gonna make a way to make uh, some gift cards. Um, Jesus Christ! I'm gonna probably make some business cards, not gift cards, to people in case they want to go ahead and see my Instagram, see my YouTube, and also what's it called? In case, oh yeah, okay, I'm gonna be doing an Etsy whenever I end up having the time, probably after the semester, to like, for example, this Pokeball right here. I made this so yeah so what I use to keep the pokeball angled my cat fell oh well it looks like it's gonna stay it's gonna keep rolling now oh well but yeah so basically you put a bottle cap under anything that's round that you want to stay in place and you end up being fine uh should I get a cap I can't really move from where I am let me see I don't like the pokeball not being there I had water next to me, so. So, yeah, get the cap and put it where you want it angled. If you do that, it'll stay angled. So, let's keep going. Keep opening up these packs. Yeah. See, I was just thinking, like, with Pokemon products, it makes sense to keep them sealed up until the video. Because, you know, for example, let's say uh, one of the Elite Trainer boxes in the back. Each thing comes with a code. So it makes sense for me to open it. You guys see that the code is fresh. Let me give it to you guys. Technically, this whole opening process for Yu-Gi-Oh! is unnecessary. It makes sense when I watch uh, Team Samurai X or Team APS or Simo open up. Yeah, um, yeah, my mic fell. So I will probably cut that part of the video so that you guys don't deal with me fixing everything again. But yeah, so I don't remember what I was saying. But yeah, so the point is opening this up. Oh yeah, so like Simo and all the other like uh, Yugi tubers, it makes sense because you know you guys care about their personality and stuff, so you want to know what they think and all that prior. So I guess my intro is just me crying about me not having any subscribers or followers. For the record, these boxes are really pretty. Like I'm not, you, yeah, you could definitely tell how nice the gold came out. Because when you make something gold, there's a chance that it'll come out really um, uh, cheap. Or look very good. I already opened this one. <laughs> okay. Uh, see, so I should have like 20, more or less. Not even more or less, 20 exactly. So let's open these. Honestly, this set looks super fun. Um, the new gold rays look amazing. I really want to pull, obviously, one red eyes, blue eyes, like magician. Uh, Nibiru. I even never owned Nibiru. Let's see here. Go into this. This card looks amazing. I love that card. Look at that. Parlor Dragon Maid. The first, the first gold rare. I don't even have my sleeves here. Where did I bring my sleeves? I didn't bring them. Oh my god. Reincarnation. I didn't know that was a reprint in the set. I like Trickstars a lot. 
machine duplication, Dark Rebellion, XYZ, Dragon, put that there. Okay. Bam. Alright. So far, one pack, did not get a single card that I want. Mind you, I wouldn't mind a Harpy's Feather Duster, Stratos, all those things. Western a Legend, coming out with the rare. Stuff tricks, this card. What the heck? Isn't there supposed to be a card in between the two of them? That's really weird. Alright, another Dragon Mate. That's nice. I'll have to sleep these cards afterwards. That was so weird. There's supposed to be a uh, card in between them, I think. I'll confirm right here with this pack. Good. Guidance. Solemn Judge. This card's so beautiful. Holy hell. Hold on. There we go. Yeah, there's supposed to be a card in between them. Zodiac. Was it Dr Dryden? Yeah, I never was a huge fan of the Zodi uh, Zodiacs. So, anything I don't care for, I'm going to definitely give away. Probably go to my locals. Look at that. Wow, that's amazing. Alright. Yeah, so I'm going to probably just go to a couple locals and give out some of these cards along with some packs. Because I would love to give them away to like followers or subscribers, but I don't have enough. So I should just focus on trying to build up some before. Another Solemn Judgment. Holy hell. Oh, that's really pretty. That's really pretty. Look at that. Hand traps. And that's technically my first hand trap. Because I haven't played the game in so many years. And yeah, so I never had a reason to get a hand trap. And look at this. Oh, that's a really good pull. Eldritch the Golden Lord. I feel, see, right here, it's just weird because there's nothing in between them. But that's, wow. That's an extremely good pull. Okay, see that would be like, oh yeah, like, you know, subscribe and I'll give it away. But I don't have enough subscribers, so I'm going to probably just give this away at a card shop. Um, yeah, I might record me giving it away because I don't want people thinking that I'm keeping it or something. But yeah. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Honestly, opening up, opening up all these cards is super fun. Let's see here. There you go. Guy has a dragon champion. I didn't even know he was in the set. Wow. Usually, if I look at a set ahead of time... See, look, there's cards in between. That's so weird. Wow, that's amazing. Look at that. Guy. I, yeah, so when I, I usually when I hear about a set, I maybe look at it real quick once. That way, I can only remember, like, two, three, four cards. Um, and then after that, like, I just get a surprise. So far, so good. Look at that. This is... Oh look, Elder Entity. Cosmo Town. I think, is he just random? The order of the cards? I'm pretty sure it is. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Alright. It's crazy that I haven't pulled a, um, a Red Eyes, Blue Eyes, or Dark Magician yet though. That's insane, but... So far pretty good. I pulled the uh, Gold Eldritch, I think the name is? Whatever the... Card everyone wants is. That's what it's called. Yeah, it's just so weird. Card looks nice. Dragon Maid. Man, freaking every type. This is a dragon. Cute little girls being dragons. Almost every single type in the game has, like, little girls. Let's see here. Look at that. Honestly, I like Cosmo cards. I, I'm not sure if this Cosmo card is any good. And I'm not going to Google it. So, if someone wants to let me know um, if that card was ever good. Because I, I didn't play around the time that Cosmos came out. I have no idea what cards are good in that archetype. That looks super nice. Damn, look at that artwork. It's amazing. Extra Foolish Burial. What does this do? Pay half your life points, send one monster from your access to the grave. Ready to activate one extra Foolish Burial. You cannot say so. Eh, it's not bad. See, when... You know, the Solemn Judgment. When I read... Uh, when I see a card that's like, oh, Extra Foolish Burial, for example, like... Here's this card super retro, the regular Foolish Burial. So when I see a new card with its name, I'm curious to what it does. So that's when I'll read it. Otherwise, I'm not going to read, like, for example, not, um, this card right here. This wall of text. I'm sure you guys can see that. It's going to focus. It's not gonna, there we go. Hey, I'm not going to read that. Magical. I'm good. I'm good. I don't play. So I'm good. I'm not going to read that. 
But if it has something to do with like an old card, I'll probably read it. Doo -doo -doo. Into this. Come on, I want a red eyes. Give me the red eyes. Oh, Forbidden Chalice. This card was fun. Uh, when this card was meta, that's when I played. For people that have a timeline. This card's awesome. For people that have a timeline for when I used to play. When Disaster Dragon and stuff was around. Forbidden Lance. This is awesome. I hope Forbidden Lance is in this set. What's this number? Queen of the Night. Wow, that card looks really pretty. Whoa! Wow! White stone, another dragon maid, another little girl, ghost sister, and spooky dogwood. Okay. I'm probably not going to keep the hand traps, I'm just separating them because, I don't know, it's something significant, I think. How many packs left? Five packs left. No red eyes, blue eyes, anything like that. Damn. I actually also want a polymerization. Oh my god. Beatrice. See, I always thought this card was beautiful. Um, this card came out when I wasn't playing. And I was like, damn, this card's really pretty. I would love to have one. And now that I have one, look at that. It's immaculate. This is like the closest card that looks like Ghost Rare while not being Ghost Rare. Spooky Dogwood. Damn, that card looks amazing. Four more packs. All right, so I'm going to hold Polymerization in this one. I'm going to call it Polymerization. Let's go. Another little girl. Perfect. Konami knows what the players want. Phantasme. I'm going to give that for sure away. You know, it's right. If it's significant, I put it here. I'll still give it away, but... Look at that. Konami. Feeding into the subconscious mind of the players. Oh, God. Yeah. Come on. Give me red eyes, please. Monster, okay, that's good. I like that. That's really pretty. But come on, I want a red eyes. Another skill, oh my god, look at this. I mean, the artwork's gorgeous on all these hand traps. Monster Reborn. Very beautiful card. Two more packs. I am so, oh my god. I swear, they're gonna make me buy a red eyes. Okay, that's cool. And they, oh, alright. Utopia the Lightning. This card's awesome. See, I never played when Utopia was around, really. But, I have a lot of respect for the monster. I think he has so many cool forms. Alright, well, I have two golds left in here. It's impossible for me to pull the four cards that I want. So, let's see. Let's see what we get. Yeah, I might, I might need to buy another box. Come on, give me something. Give me something good. Rank up magic. Very, very saddening. And a link monster that I don't know the bow or the goddess. It's pretty. Damn, really? No blue eyes or anything like that? No stratos. No polymerization. Not a single card that I really wanted. I really wanted either blue eyes, dark magician, red eyes, polymerization, harpy's feather duster, or I would have even taken um I forgot the other card. I mentioned it like a sense ago. But damn. That makes me really sad. I think I... Damn. I guess I should just buy the singles. But that's insane. That's absolutely insane. Let me see. Yeah. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay. Out of these cards, what would I end up keeping probably? Um, maybe the Monster Reborn. Definitely the Beatrice is pretty beautiful. Gaia for sure. Um, Solemn Judgment probably. Uh, maybe this card, maybe. I have to see, but for sure, I'm gonna keep these. Yeah, I'm gonna give away the rest. So I'm gonna probably yeah go to a card shop, two card shops, and divide all these cards so that maybe every person gets two. Because when people buy this, um, they're spending like twenty five, thirty dollars, so they can get four packs. Oh damn, this video is already 16 damn minutes. Holy hell. So, yeah, I'm gonna give these away. Uh, two at randoms. That means someone's gonna be getting this guy. Yep, yep, yep. A lot of tip cards in here. 
I'm just kind of sad because I, I, I was hoping, oh, I'm going to pull so many cards that I want, I won't have anything to give away. I have the opposite. I have like two cards I'm going to keep. Oh, well. Overall, I think I pulled pretty well, but it's just not what I wanted. So, oh, well. I hope you guys enjoy it, and hopefully at some point, uh, the people watching this will end up getting some cards that I pull in future videos. Wow, you know, honestly, so I didn't notice, um, because uh, I took you my mic fell, I didn't notice that I did not open up four of the packs. So I was like, oh crap, let me open these. It's probably nothing, so I won't need to record it. But I ended up pulling two best hand traps, this thing, which is whatever, this thing, which is whatever, anti, like, spell fragrance, <laughs> just spell fragrance, these arrows cards. I wanted this card too, didn't mention it, but I wanted it. Pulled one of these, which is fine, but in the last pack... I, sorry, that was put impermanence, which is amazing. And where the hell's the other card? Right here, in the Stratos that I wanted. So this last pack, well, last box that came with four packs, was probably the best one. Two hand traps, which I might keep one of each, because like I said, I, I never had hand traps before. So I'm gonna keep these two, and this. But the impermanence, I'm gonna be giving away. So I'm really happy that I have an impermanence to give away, and I have a um, the gold dude. I don't know his name to give away. So that's amazing. Um, so yeah, wow, uh, always double check your stuff, I guess, that's amazing, wow, and if this is worth anything, I also got him, 